Alright, how's it going guys? My name is KC and welcome to Cash Grab of Ban Ban 4. I called out of work. Sat here for the last five minutes refreshing the game page, ready to buy it, and here we are. For those of you who have seen my last couple of videos on the previous Garden of Ban Ban chapters, I thought they were bad. And I don't expect things to be any different in chapter four, okay? It's common knowledge now that one should expect absolutely nothing special from this franchise, and I sure as hell don't. That's why what I did at the end of chapter three, not gonna speak on it or anything, just, just go watch it. Click the card in the top right corner of your screen. What I did at the end of there, I also went and did with this game too. So now I can just run through it while chilling and not having to worry about being unable to refund it. Besides, this is the most expensive chapter yet. It's $10 on Steam and the other two were $5. So either they got greedier or the chapter is actually going to be somewhat, somewhat just a little bit better. I don't know. It doesn't even matter because I technically got the game for free now. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Is that the Roman numeral for five? No, that's the Roman numeral for six, not five. So are they skipping five and going straight to six? I don't fucking know. Let's just start the game. All right. For a parent looking for their missing child, time is a delicate matter. Click the clock to advance time. Oh, slow Selena's going up in there. Yeah, last time we, we left off, uh, we went down an elevator with this baby Opila bird. After all the monsters just duked it out. Had a huge fight. Okay, WASD to move. There's an invisible wall here. Hold shift to sprint. Oh, there's my drone. I don't have to get batteries for my drone. Grab your friend. Um, like physically grab him or what, what, are, you, what are you talking about? Oh! This, this friend, <laughs> not my drone, the bird. Okay. All right. So we're going into a chase scene right off the bat. Interesting. That's the turtle chameleon hybrid thingy that attacked us in the last chapter. Had a nice little boss fight with him. Boss fight was a nice touch. All right. I guess I just got to start running then. Grab him and get moving. Oh boy. Don't look back. I'm not looking back. Getting chased always makes me nervous and the rule of thumb is to never, ever look back, okay? Ah, <sighs> shit. How long is this? Where am I going? Okay, I'm gonna look back. Oh, he's way back there. Okay, we're good. The screen shake and makes him seem closer than he actually is. We left him in the dust. Okay. Okay. Now what? Stand on here. I need to use my drone to press that button over there. But what about him? Where does it <gasps> Well, that, that answered my question. He can't get to me though, the, the door is too narrow. So he's just gonna sit over there and chill out for a second. Are you fucking kidding me? Can I tell the bird to stay right? I gotta tell the bird to stay right here. Okay. Stay there. Nope. <sighs> Maybe I can tell the drone to press that button. Let's see. Nope. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't think he can follow me if... Here. Let's just, just stay right there for a second, okay? He's gonna hop off of that damn thing. No, he's not. Okay, good, good. All right. Drone, hit that shit, please. Thank you very much. All right, let's go grab him. He's just a kid. He's a little baby. I don't want to leave him behind. He seems to be innocent. I can't grab him. Why can't I grab him? I guess he's going to follow me on his own. What is this? 
What is this now? Huh? I'm being dragged away. Something's dragging me away. What is that that I pressed? It's something that knocked me out. Maybe it's some kind of sleeping gas? Because it's putting me to sleep. She's got me out like a light. Damn. Oh. Am I going to be interrogated by Sheriff Toadster? Listen up. I, I can see him. That's the sheriff. You'll do what you're told without any questions. Understood? Love the voice acting. Very simple. I will ask you yes or no questions, and you'll answer them using the buttons on your left and right. Facing forward, the button on your right is a yes, and the button on your left is a no. Question one. Someone locked up all the criminals in the swamp on the level above. Was that you? Yes. You saved a lot of time for someone that needs every minute on their hand. So thank you for that. That someone shall not be mentioned. Moving on. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Yep, multiple times. Really? I'm surprised you're still in one piece. Third question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Uh-huh, last chapter. Adds up. Fourth question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? I've never seen that thing before, no. That's a gesture. I thought so. You must have come from the floors above. Fifth question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Yep, twice. That one gives me the creeps. I know. Sixth question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Nope. Never seen him before. The rest of your answers were as truthful as this one. Well, this is the first time coming into contact. He's right there. Step out of the room. Okay. Belongings, the drone. Where's the bird? There he goes. Sheriff Toadster. Finally. We finally meet. What a waste of time. You don't even work here. What on earth are you doing this deep down anyway, partner? You know what? Follow me. We can talk more inside. It's not very safe out here. Sheriff Toadster, people. I saw on the trailer. He's uh, apparently on our side. I mean, the note Careful said... Here. It's not very sturdy. The note said we gotta find the sheriff and watch out for the jester. So we found the sheriff. He's gonna help us out. He's a lot smaller than I thought he'd be. Welcome to the kingdom. The kingdom? Oh, wow. It's not up to me to decide what to do with your partner. We need to talk to the queen. And when we do... The queen... Queen Bouncelia, the kangaroo. There she goes right there. All right, we're going to talk to her. We got to show some respect. So is he like a servant of her? What about the other monsters? You know, those people. Damn, she's huge. How you doing, your majesty? I finished interrogating the new captive. And how would you rate the fruitfulness of that interrogation on a scale of one to ten? Zero. They don't talk much. And I think they came from the surface. The surface? That's a new one. Hmm. Did they say what they're doing down here? I'm afraid not. I'm looking for my kids. A worried parent can spot another worried parent from a mile away. I've heard the hmm. in the crash before. You're here in search of your child. Won't find them. Most humans have ceased to come down to this floor for quite some time now. We can help with getting you back up to the upper floors, but allow us to introduce ourselves first. I am Queen Bounce. 
South Syria, the ruler of the kingdom. This is Sheriff Toadster, the protector and only other citizen of the kingdom. I apologize on behalf of both myself and the sheriff for the rough reception. We've all been a little on edge lately. I'm sure you can understand. Uh, how's the elevator back up doing, Sheriff? Not too well. It's missing some crucial parts. Three to be exact. Do you know where these parts are? Yes, Your Majesty. I was previously too occupied to go and collect them. The coming hours will be rough for us all. But this is not your battle, parent. A sheriff, accompany the parent and go grab the missing parts. But Your Majesty, we should be focused on protecting you. You will, once you two get back with the parts in hand. So we're finding some parts in this chapter. All right, you heard the lady. Let's head to the station, partner. The station. You get by too well for someone who doesn't utter a word. Hey, you know baby, you'll peel a bird. Maybe I should talk less. See where that gets me. Much of what the queen has said really downplayed our situation. We're in trouble. A lot of trouble, partner. The queen's gesture has gone rogue. No matter what happens, he must not make the queen laugh. Otherwise, what's in her pouch escapes, and we all die. He clipped right through this thing. We got an infirmary right here. All right. So I can see they're trying to do some more Euphoric Brothers padding. The signature Euphoric Brothers padding right now with uh, this nice, long-ass fucking walk that's taken a thousand years. Now that it matters to me. Oh, we're not going over here? Oh, we are going over here. Okay. All right. I wonder if we're going to see Zolfius again in this chapter. And how did that chameleon thing follow me down here anyways? The chameleon turtle hybrid. The three parts of the elevator are scattered across three stations, which we can get to using this old transport system. Okay. I believe it's two tickets per rider. Two for me, two for you, and two for little B here. There should be some scattered around here. What's this? A key card. That's the Ban Ban Kebab thing. Oh, hello. This is a nightmare. It has to be. I thought I was ready to witness the things down here, but I was severely mistaken. They said training would be enough. I have felt betrayed and I felt scared, but never both at the same time. I should have never put my life in my co-worker's hands. I've been left behind as they ran away like the cowards they are, and now I'm left to talk to a piece of paper. What was that screaming coming from above, and what on earth was that thing that approached us? It was almost like nothing but a massive floating face. The training manual said nothing about that, and definitely nothing about the giggles that seem to get closer and closer to me. Am I going insane? A giant floating face? He must be talking about Zolfius. That's a ticket, and he said there's two around here somewhere. I think this is the other one. Before I get that, give me just a second. It's a good thing I can pause this shit. Um, now what? Oh, gotta put him in here. All right, one and two. You have no tickets to insert. Okay, oh, there's more tickets. Wanted, dead or alive. That's Captain Cuddles, or whatever his name was. Captain Fiddles, not Captain Cuddles. Captain Fiddles. Okay, is that the last ticket? Is there any more tickets around here that I should know about? Uh, I guess not. What is that? Oh shit, it's the Jester. The fucking Jester. He was right here stalking us. Oh, pfft. I should probably check over here too. So we found a total of four tickets. Oh, there is more tickets. There's some right here. Shit. What about in here? Can I go in here? No, I guess not. All right, please tell me that's it. That's it, yes. All aboard. All aboard. Head to the sector marked with the color yellow. Uh, the ventilation sector. 
Alright, let's go. You know, we out here. I get your confusion, partner. I really do. What's a massive bipedal toad with a hat protecting a giant purple kangaroo queen for? After I was thrown down here by your kind like I was trash, I was hopeless, aimless, cold, and miles away from the promised surface. Long story short, I was found and accepted at my lowest. It was then that I declared myself the ultimate protector of the Queen. It's a cause worth fighting for. Good-hearted individuals deserve protection. Interesting backstory. All right, we're going to the ventilation sector right here. We're here, partner. Let's get this over with. Bitter giggle. That's the jester's name. Should be in the administration room within the ventilation corridors. But it looks like the door's locked. Nothing is as precious as smiles. Tell a joke wherever you walk. Okay, cool. Thanks for telling me that. Not that I really care. We're gonna customize a drone, give him the color black, give him the cowboy hat, match the remote. Alright. Uh, it's one of these puzzles, so one of us has to be standing right here. It looks like the baby Opila bird won't be able to move on elevated surfaces. What's this? He's permanently not ready for presentation. Aw, damn. That's tough. Call up the drone. I think that button is the one that activated. Can I? All right. Go press that button. Nope. Uh-huh. Huh? Oh. Oh, man. Let's prepare ourselves. We gotta go up in here. In the dark room. Oh, what? What's happening? You stay in there and don't move. I'll figure out a way to get the door open. I got locked in. Can I call up my drone? Oh, it's the jester. That's the jester. So he really is kind of playful, isn't he? Yep. Alright. Sheriff, let me in. Oh. Toad stars never disappoint, partner. That, my friend, was the jester I was talking about. Yeah. Bitter giggle. Bitter giggle. He now knows we're not the kingdom. Let's grab the part and get out of here. I mean, if we run into him again, I'm sure you can do something about it. Come on. So the part's in here, the ventilation system. Wait. I know my enemies. We're being stalked. What's this? These can sense danger. They make perfect traps. I'm sure there's a way we can tell which ones are rigged. We just need to figure it out. Okay. So the baby appeal bird can sense danger. He's going to make noises when we come across rigged vents. Okay. We just got attacked by Nab Nab. <laughs> so Nab Nab's not dead. I mean, I had a feeling he wasn't. He just got uh, snatched up by Jumbo Josh and took a little bit of a nap. But he's very much alive. He's active and still angry, even though we gave him a friend. He's not lonely anymore, and that's still not enough for him? What the fuck? Okay, so I gotta tread lightly. Okay, yep. There's danger right here. Watch out, let's go this way. If the bird detects danger, we gotta go to one of the other sides. Okay. Can y'all move? Let's try going this way. There we go. Light work. Let me just pick you up and carry you with me. Yep, danger. Okay, this is safe. This probably isn't. Nope. Alright, this is safe. There 
There we go. Light work. Snatch up the key card. Oh, there's a tape. Watch out. System operable, temporary shutdown. What's this now? Huh? What did that do? That's the part we need from this section. Let's head back and see if it'll fit. You don't have to check for danger anymore. We can just walk through. I mean, lead the way. I feel safe around you, so. If we don't have to check for danger no more, then, you know, it is what it is. It's my friend. Fo yep, there he is. We make a great team. This guy, me, and a little baby appeal bird right here. We are an awesome team. Let's head for the elevator to see if the part fits. It should. Because you confirmed that that's the part for the elevator. So why would it not fit? Ooh. Oh, I can't jump down? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. We're going to have to wait for his slow ass to get to the elevator, though. Great. Where the fuck is this elevator at, anyways? This is where we can meet Zulfius. For sure, look at this. It's the, it's the perfect spot. Hey, Zulfius, you here? No, nope, he doesn't want to come out to play right now. Ooh, what's this? I think that's the that's the interrogation room. That's where I just came out of. Another update on the sheriff. I'll read that another time. Nab, nab, and nab, Nalina. He's finally here. Place the piece you have on the elevator. That's one of three. Okay, I'll cool. Here and put everything together. For now, maybe just hang around the place and talk to the queen if you're ready. I wonder what, if there's any special secrets around here that I should know about. Like maybe a way to summon Zulfius or something. I'm not on a timer, so I guess I'll look around for a bit. If I was, then I wouldn't bother with that, but let's look around. Let's explore. We got a place to customize our drone. Ooh, this is where we can put the tape. All right. Lore. Secrets. This is the meeting room from the second game. Why are we staring at it? What's so special about it? The cage just disappeared. Somebody took it. So the tape was of um, the cake disappearing from the meeting room. Way to waste my time. All right, let's go see the queen. It says something about something in her pouch gonna come to life and kill us all. Why is she even carrying something like that anyways? Welcome back. I hope your journey was worth it. And the elevator a little more usable. I wanted to let you know how much I respect the things you are doing to get your child back. Putting your life on the line and fighting forces far more powerful than you like that is just... Admirable. As a token of my respect, please accept this blue keycard. While not much, it is what we consider a symbol of trust. I am proud to announce that you are officially a citizen of the kingdom. Feel free to stay as much as you like, even after you get your child back. The kingdom can now proudly announce that it has reached a population of five. I say five because a friend of yours showed up while you were away. He was in a damaged state, so I told him to stay in the infirmary. He asked for you, so perhaps you could speak with him when you have time. 
Yeah, sure. That's for the infirmary, probably. And what's this? Ooh, a case report on the queen. Okay. I'll read that when I edit this. Let's go to the infirmary and see who this friend is. I wonder who it could be. All the monsters are up in here. Not all of them, but... Two. Dear Mommy, we just, uh... We just had the best party ever. Me, Claire, Miss Mason, and Stinger Flynn. She's probably talking about Ban Ban, because I see Ban Ban in here. Let's have a look. Let's go visit him. I'm going to take this key card, too, while I'm at it. When the Queen mentioned having many visitors in one day, I knew it had to be you. Listen, whatever happened to me, whatever I tried doing to you, just know it wasn't actually me. I was forced to obey without much thought. I tried communicating with you from afar for a reason. Now you know the true reason why. Still, I want to make it up to you. The Queen filled me in on the situation with the elevator. I want to help with that. I feel much more in control now. I'll come help you find the missing pieces of the elevator. I just need to rest for a little bit and I'll meet you at whatever that station is. Okay. Claim the key card for the cell at the end of the hall. The end of the hall, huh? Right here. Hold on, hold on. Let's, take, let's take a look at uh, Slow Celine because she's in here. I can't interact with that. Someone is waiting for you at the cell at the end of the hall. Who could that be? Ban Ban? Is he going to teleport? Or is it Stinger Flynn, probably? Because this shit is orange. Let's see. Who's waiting for me? Stinger Flynn. Why is he so small? Why is he so small? He was a lot bigger in the last chapter. What the hell? Oh. The jellyfish communication kiosk. What the fuck happened to you, bro? Why'd you shrink? Oh. It's you. Yeah, it's me. What's up? Don't worry. I'm unable to hurt you. I'm too weak to do anything. By not listening to me and leaving when you had the chance, you have made a great mistake. Finally, after managing to keep Josh under control, you just had to come around and anger him. Look where your arrogance got us now. A position where neither of us can get to the children. This is your fault and nobody else's. I meant it when I said I would practice the safest of procedures. But regardless, I have something I want to show you. It sure looks like you need it. Okay, he's uh, using his powers on me, trapping me in another hallucination. Oh, there goes Zulfius right there. Oh, hi. You're up again. We got Nab Nab, Ban Ban, Opila Bird. Captain Fiddles. The vegetables nice to be collected indeed. Oh, they're all finished. I already have consumed my share of the nutrients you have gathered while you were in your slumber. Me too. Sorry about that. Can I move now? There goes Zulfius right there. Why is this car on fire? Is this after the car crash from the last vision where we were driving around on the beach? Or in, in the middle of a desert? I have never witnessed kindness coming from a spider before. Man, if Shabu Josh was here, he would have loved those vegetables. I am pretty content that he's not grazing us with his irritating presence. What the fuck happened to, uh, Ferris? Why is his voice like that? <laughs> his voice sounds even worse. We've had our fair share of altercations. Hate is one of the two emotions I am unable to control. What's the second one? Sorrow. Not again. How is any being able to move past constant sorrow in a world like ours? 
Sometimes I feel like we're all just doomed forever. We each have our plans and goals, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Nor can it undo the past or previous misery. Life is too short to be sad all the time, Stinger. Our lives are it. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You know I'm not the best at this stuff. Maybe Nab Nab or the Captain can help. Captain? Captain? As expected. Okay. What about you, Nab Nab? Did he give me that? And I missed it because my head was looking away? Lots of other creatures reside in this ecosystem. Could be anything. No, that don't sound good. Yeah, but what kind of animal makes that sound? Help me! Oh. Choo Choo Charles? What the fuck? Why the fuck is Choo Choo Charles in this game? Are they even allowed to do that? Did they get permission? The hell? Okay, I saw a key card over here, so let's grab it. I don't know. He said I needed to see that. Why did I need to see that? What purpose would I have to see that for? At least we saw Zolfius again, but I couldn't actually fucking go there. So that was another cutscene designed to waste our fucking time. I have no idea why I needed to see that. I just hope they got permission from the creators of Choo Choo Charles to have him in the game. Otherwise, they're going to be in trouble and they can have fun dealing with that. This is probably where I had to go this entire fucking time. I'm an idiot. Ah, there he is. I've been waiting for a while. I've just been kind of wandering around the trying to figure out what to do. Should be at the second station, the feeding sector. Feeding sector, huh? All right, and we're we're, we're working with a uh, good old Ban Ban, the classic, classic duo right here. Me and Ban Ban. Take me back to the second chapter. All right, the feeding sector. That's green. All right. I feel now is a good time to introduce ourselves, which we haven't done up to this point, if you can believe it. I am Uthman. I worked here before everything came crashing down. Literally and figuratively. I can't imagine the stuff you've witnessed down here. My co-workers and I should have spoken up sooner. Perhaps all of this should have been prevented then. But then again, my co-workers weren't really friends in those last couple of months anyway. So it would have needed some good planning. You ever had those friends that suddenly turn on you for no reason? Oh yeah, plenty of them. To say mine turned on me would be an understatement. They suddenly stopped talking to me. They looked at me like I was some sort of monster. I mean, technically you are. I lose my temper, sure, but it seemed excessive. I was and still am confused, to say the least. We're here. Let's get going. And he's taking that with him? Okay. Yeah, so Ban Ban, his real name is Othman. All right, like, um, we kind of figured that out in the, the second chapter. Get down. Oh, Jumbo Josh. Oh, fuck. How do I crouch? It's Jumbo Josh. Is that broccoli? You know, Jumbo Josh does love his vegetables. Okay, someone just that came and snatched him up. The sheriff set up earlier. Oh, okay. Poor Josh. I can't imagine how confusing this has all been for him. All right. Looks like we got another puzzle incoming. That wasn't locked the last time I was here. Yep, we got to do a puzzle. It can't be too hard to get it open, though, right? Uh, what do we got to do? Huh? 
It's not a slide. Oh, it's just some stairs. Okay. Press the left mouse button to use your toy. Is the jester going to come out of that thing? What the fuck? Practice safety and you will be okay. It's some kind of passcode, isn't it? We gotta go up there and try that. Okay. That's the same pattern that the lights over here had. Let's try it out. Okay. And then we got an O right here. <laughs> I love how I just said it. There seems to be two doors behind each other. I think we opened the inner one. We gotta go down there and open the outer one. Ah, uh, so I gotta solve that damn puzzle. Back down here we go. Okay, so I just wasted a whole bunch of time trying to figure out this complex ass puzzle. I ran out of patience and cheated and apparently I'm not even supposed to be in there. I gotta go in here. The more interesting room. Look at this shit. What the fuck is all this? It's jesters, but are they trying to make more of him or something? Nothing is funny enough. Oh. Oh, a crown. Probably for my drone. Wow. You just come in here, steal what's ours, and then leave? Oh, what the fuck? You humans are all the same. Thieves with no shame. Your greed knows no limits, only controllable for minutes. You can have the crown. I couldn't care less about that. But can I at least have some applause for my little poem, please? Okay. I'll, I'll clap my hands for you. All right. What are you? Well, you're the jester. Just a head, too. Practice makes perfect. List of jokes. A kangaroo, a jellyfish, and a toad walk into the bar. That's it. None of them actually walk. How the jellyfish get into the seafloor? They took the jelly vader. What do you call a surgery being performed by a kangaroo? A hoperation. They're all terrible. Am I the joke? Uh, I'll let you figure that out for yourself, my guy. Don't listen to that guy over there. All he cares about are his poems. I'll show you something that's actually impressive. What's that? A magic trick. A magic trick? Open the sesame. Open this up, please. Appreciate it. I think I earned a round of applause for that. Yes, you did. I'll clap for you too. Oh, there's a letter here. What's this? I didn't even get to fucking read that. I read it when I edit this. All right. Why didn't I think of that? So I got to get the drone over here, and then do that. To lower the drone onto the button. There we go. Is the drone right there? Probably. Let's get it over here. There we go. Okay. Now hit this. And now hit this. There we go. Now I gotta press that button right there. Excuse me. Drone. I gotta call it right here first. Come over here. Alright. Now hear that. There we go. Finally. Thought I was never gonna figure that out. It was so easy though. Alright. Oh, we're gonna run into something Throwing over here. The elevator piece. There's something I need to do first. What's that? I need to hand this imposter over to someone very close to me. Who? Do the honors. He must have gotten very lonely, but I got him a new friend. Now, we wait. Is it Zolfius? Wait, no, Nab-Nab. We can't let Nab-Nab take him. 
Oh my god. Nab, nab. What are you doing, man? Come on. Why is he so fast? I can't run that fast. Ah. Uh, oh. Come on. Come on, put those obby skills to good use. There we go. I tried fixing you so many times, but you're just unfixable. Enough is enough. Oh shit, he's got Ban Ban in a headlock. Oh. Oh. He went feral. And now he's hurt. He turned into his feral farm. I can control it. I know I can. Are you good, dude? I have a few things I need to do around here. You go back without me. The elevator part should be around here somewhere. I just picked it up. Got another key card. Place a new part at the elevator. Are you sure you're going to be good, Bam Bam? That was intense. Is there anything over here that I missed that I should know about since the chase scene is over? Nab Nab, why are you still out here causing trouble? We made we made a friend for you. Nab Nalina. And you're still <sighs> I don't get it. I guess he really is unfixable. I wonder if Ban Ban went and killed him. Probably not. Oh hello, we got a, a little cup here. Can I get that? Nope. We got a tape here. And what's that? Wanted dead or alive. Is that Jumbo Josh or is it Zolfius? Probably Jumbo Josh. Ban Ban was also bleeding Javanium too. I really hope he's going to be good. Let's get back to that elevator though. I wonder who that was for. <gasps> it was for Zolfius. I knew it. It's Zolfius. He's not going to do nothing to me though, right? Is he... He's moving away. Hi. He's coming closer. That thing was definitely for Zolfius. I knew it. He doesn't seem to be very happy without it. I don't know if he's going to do anything to me. Probably not, but... I'm not going to take no chances. Let me just get out of here. It was nice seeing him again. He looks as creepy as ever. I want to know more about him, bro. He's like one of the only interesting characters in the whole franchise. And he's just been sitting there not doing a damn thing. This is where Jumbo Josh got captured. Alright, let's go back. Alright, we're here. Can I get off? Not until this thing shows up. Okay, back to the elevator. It's gonna be a long walk. Let's watch that tape first while we're at it. Is that the queen? Oh, that's the jester and uh, Sheriff Toadster. They're bowing down to her. Okay. Another tape that wastes time. Awesome. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, let's put the part down. How y'all doing? Y'all just been sitting here this whole time? It looks like you speak to the queen. Okay, can I take you with me? Nope. Welcome back. I hope your journey was worth it, and the elevator a little more usable. We're very close to having it fully fixed. I pray for the safety of the children you're looking for. When you do find them, can I ask for a favor? Could you try and occasionally come visit? It's been so long since we've had a visitor that isn't trying to harm us. Please do consider my request. Other than that, I don't want to keep you any longer. Also, it appears more of your friends have arrived. One final piece of the elevator remains missing. So, more of our friends have arrived? Okay, let's see. Some, uh, some more people are here now. We got Opila Bird. And Tartar Bird. And Banbalina. 
I saw these in the trailer. Jumbo Josh. This is the third entry to the Toadster archives. Criminals numbers three and four, the birds, were captured by being lured in their current holding cells. Their sudden and unannounced appearance within the walls of the kingdom took me by surprise, but they are now safely contained. They seem to be very territorial, as they did not exhibit any hostile behavior as long as I kept my distance from their cell. It also seems that they were frantically looking for something. They're looking for their I'm kid. I'm not sure what exactly. Since containment, they've remained completely still. I think they might be trying to trick me into getting in to check on them. I'm not falling for that. More updates soon. Okay. I thought it was uh, the jester that put these guys in the cells um, when I saw the trailer, but no, it's Sheriff Toaster that did that. They're looking for their kid. Their ki your kid's fine, by the way, okay? Y'all can relax. Van Bullion, what happened with her? This is the second entry to the Toadster archives. Criminal number two, the teacher, was captured near the elevator that goes down from the third floor, where a human was also captured earlier. Unlike the snail, the teacher was extremely hostile towards me citing a missing student from her class as the reason she's even down here. Numerous failed attempts to escape were recorded, but it appears she's finally given up. Numerous objects were introduced in an attempt to calm her down, with only a few excess bowling pins seeming to do the job. The teacher has been sitting in a corner since calming down, repeating the sentence, I can't be late, to herself, over and over. Truly an interesting case. Yeah, so she was down here looking for me. She told me to show up to her class, and I never did. That's where she belongs, though. She's fucking nuts. And Jumbo Josh. We saw him get captured by a this trap. This is the fourth entry to the Toadster archives. Criminal number five, the Green Gorilla, was captured by fallen victim to an intricate trap that was designed and set up in the feeding sector by yours truly. So far, the Green Gorilla has been chained, so not too much information has been retrieved. So far today, we've received seven cases in only a few hours. It's very unnatural. Something up above has happened that's causing these cases to end up down here. It hurts seeing familiar faces in this state. But I cannot risk my health to help old friends that may have gone mad. More updates soon. Alright. Let's go find the elevator piece. I guess I'm on my own now. All right, where are we going now? We've been to the ventilation sector, the feeding sector, we're at the housing sector. We gotta get to the employee exercise sector. And the employee exercise sector. I'm about to get me some exercise. Morning exercise checklist. Cognitive, physical, and communicative. Let's call the drone here. Does he have the crown on him? He sure does. Alright, first we're doing cognitive. What is all this? We got a nice little setup over here. Nice living room. Case report on the queen. Uh, this sounds like it's going to be one complex ass puzzle. All right, get your brain work ready with this morning exercise. Three games, two rounds each, lights out. Something in one of the rooms might have changed. Report the room where the change has occurred. Memorize the contents of the room and keep your eyes peeled. Okay, so we're playing a game of I'm on observation duty, looking for anything that changed. Anomalies, in other words, and reporting them. How do I activate it? Oh, got to press a button. Something somewhere might have changed. Okay. Something somewhere might have changed. Wonder what it is. Well, it's not in here. It's got to be one of the boxes. It's in the box room. And it's obvious, too. All right. What's changed now? Change isn't in here. Oh yeah, this looks different. 
I'm gonna guess the living room. It looks pretty different. I hope I'm, I'm right. Fuck. Am I gonna die? Or is it gonna just start all over? It's gonna start all over. Nothing's gonna kill me. There is nothing to kill me. Everybody's captured. Is it the box room? Oh, nope, it's this room again. Watering pans are gone. Finally. So that's cognitive out of the way. Physical. The jester's in here. Why is the jester in here? What is this? The fucking jester is over here, bro. <laughs> what is that? I gotta get him to ram these targets here. I gotta get him to hit this. I'm getting my exercise, all right, running for my life like this. All right, here, doggy doggy, or foxy, or whatever the fuck you are. Okay. He's gonna take a nice little nap. So is something gonna open up for me? Yep, right here. So that's it for physical. Kittysaurus. Okay, that's a cat. It's a cat dinosaur hybrid creature. Another one of this garden's hideous experiments. Hey, I'm starting to like the system of communication. It's hard to do what we want to do without speaking to each other in private for a suspicious amount. You know how they handle suspicious in this place. Uh, what I don't like is having to sometimes leave our messages at this floor. As much as I understand that it's necessary sometimes, I can't, I just can't help but feel watched down here. Anyways, I have collected the data of all the children currently enrolled in the kindergarten and left them at your desk. I've marked my preferred genome donors and you do the same on the sheet. We can exclude any students that aren't marked by both of us and then from the smaller pool of candidates, we pick which one to proceed with. All right, oh, what's this? Can I open it? I can't open it. Queen Bouncelia mission. Queen Bouncelia is looking for crystals for her crown. Offer up eight crystals to get your prize. These are the crystals right here, I take it. And I'm right, you know? Okay, that's three, four, five, six. I need seven and eight. There goes seven right there. Seven and eight. Where are you, eight? I know you're around here somewhere. Um, uh, oh, there we go. There is some. What did that do? It opened the door to the last crystal. I knew it. I knew it was behind one of the doors. All right. Give me that thing. All right, I need my drone because it's probably going to activate this button. Never mind. Never fucking mind. Okay. Ah, the last piece. I won't lie. I thought a dinosaur would finish you off. But if trapping you will get you out of my way too, then who am I to complain? I tell you a very fitting joke, but you humans just never seem to get them. 
the closest people to me tonight is what I was made to do. People who were genetically programmed to laugh at my every joke! They cited some end-of-the-world scenario where whatever's in the Queen's pouch escapes if I make her laugh. But I'm not buying it! I was distraught. And I became dead set on making the ultimate jokester. But after failing time and time again, I realized something. I am the ultimate jokester. There was nobody better to be made, even if by me. With the sheriff occupied, he's gonna get to the queen. Make her laugh and release that kangaroo thingy or whatever is in her pouch. Unlike you, my path to having my family back has never been clearer. I really like the voice acting for the sheriff and the jester. Okay. This is no big. I just gotta get the drone to press this button right here. That's why it's there. There we go. Just like that, I'm out. <laughs> All right, there's no time to waste. Get back to the queen. I got the last part. <gasps> the sheriff. How did he take out the sheriff? Oh no. Fuck. The Kidosaurus is there? And there goes the Queen and Baby Opila Bird. Hey. What you think you're doing? Your Majesty. I have finally come to do what I was made for. And deliver my jokes. This is my best back yet. Okay, the floor is all yours. Let's hear it. The Javanium. <gasps> the baby Opila bird fell into the the Javanium. Oh no! Then don't laugh. And I told myself, Just don't laugh. It's not hard. Things are more important than laughter. But I can't wait anymore. I need to make you laugh, even if just for a little bit. I can't be put aside again. I am nothing without a ruler to entertain. I am. Your Majesty. Are you gonna tell jokes or just sit there running your mouth? Train conductor say to the kangaroo. Hold on. <laughs> That's not funny. See, even she agrees. It was terrible. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh fuck. Let's escape then. So remember when she hopped down and Baby Opila Bird fell in the Javanium and she was like, look at what you've done. But he didn't do that, you did that. The force of you landing shook up the whole room and knocked him over. That was your fault, queen. Good to see the sheriff is okay. <gasps> Why the fuck is he here? Is he chasing me? He was chasing me, I didn't even notice. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> I had no idea.
idea he was behind me. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. I thought he was coming with us. <laughs> he's coming after me. He's he's way far away. I'm definitely going to get away from him. Oh, we got Stinger Flynn. We're going to take Stinger Flynn with us. All right. Let's go. We need to find the Queen's Scepter. It's the only thing that can stop this madness. Okay. My phone's blowing up, and I don't know why, but it's pissing me off. Oh, that's it? So are we just completely skipping over five and going straight to six? I don't fucking know. But that's the end. Well, that was interesting. Definitely the best chapter so far. I enjoyed this chapter much more than the others, but I still don't think it's worth $10. Because it's got plenty of that signature Euphoric Brothers padding with the long hallways we gotta walk through and, you know, some of the puzzles. And of course, the tram thingy, having to wait for all three cards to arrive at the station before it lets us move. I like the Sheriff and the Queen. I think they're both awesome characters. And the Jester, too. Kinda. Uh, good on them for hiring some actually decent voice actors. A voice actor for the Sheriff, the Jester, and the Queen is way better than anything we've ever seen in Garden of Ban Ban so far. I had fun with some of the puzzles. I had a much better time figuring them out. I noticed that it's always the puzzles that don't involve the drone at all that I end up having fun with. And of course, the story actually went somewhere this time. You know, no excessive pancreas talk. I didn't take this game seriously at all, and I noticed that I had much more fun playing when I don't take it seriously because it blatantly didn't even take itself seriously in some parts. Like, for example, the Stinger Flynn vision that Stinger Flynn put us in with the, the camping trip and then Choo Choo Charles showing up. I hope they don't get themselves into trouble for that. And the ending where the queen said the joke was terrible and then laughed anyway. I guess the thing in her pouch was a laser beam that shot up the ceiling and made the whole floor collapse. I thought it was some kind of creature that was lightning fast, powerful, capable of killing every single monster, every single living thing in this facility. No, it was just a laser beam, but yeah. She called the joke terrible and laughed anyway. I guess it was so bad it was hilarious, you know? And can we talk about the final chase scene for a second? I'm sorry, the final quote-unquote chase scene, if you can even call it that. How the hell did we go from the one with Feral Ban Ban in the last game, chasing us down when we were riding on Tartar Bird, to this shit? That was the worst chase scene in the entire Garden of Ban Ban franchise. I didn't even know I was being chased until I happened to turn around and see the Jester right behind me. That's how bad it was. I didn't even know it was a chase scene. I still have no idea what's going on with the Roman numerals here. Are we skipping over five? That's the Roman numeral for six right there. Five is just uh, the V and not the I. This is six. So are we skipping over five and just going to six? I don't fucking know. But yeah, I don't really have much to say on this one. This is just your typical average Garden of Ban Ban experience. I've come to terms with that. This is the essence of the franchise right here. Just don't take it seriously and you'll have a much better time. I think. That's just the way I look at it. With that being said though, I know for a fact that I've been rambling for long enough. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.